Hi, I am Sam Aston, a design and construction technologist working to automate many common workflows within the architecture, engineering, and construction industry. Within the AC industry, there is a vast array of software which is used to help facilitate the design, permitting, and construction of many structures. Among the most powerful and the most popular of that software is Revit. And those of us who use Revit know that it becomes a very cumbersome, repetitive, and sometimes even boring uh, way to implement workflows. Uh, fortunately for us, uh, Revit does maintain an API or application programming interface to allow third party users to enter in and develop plugins and scripts to automate common workflows. In parallel, many designers in the ADC industry and engineers are learning and picking up software programming skills. And among the easiest languages to learn is Python. It comes highly recommended because it's very versatile and the languages and syntax is easier to understand. Unfortunately, much of the Revit API documentation is, is optimized for C-sharp development. And um, a lot of the documentation, a lot of information and resources are, are for those programmers in that language. Um, but fortunately for us, there are other resources out there that document development of Revit API in Python. And so the goal of this course is to aggregate that information into one place and to teach you how to build a plugin from start to finish. Uh, using Python and a Revit API. And uh, let's dive in.